Hello everybody. My next camera is the Kodak 620. It's from 1932 or 33. You can tell because in the catalog, uh, the 32-33 catalog, this is how you open the, uh, the lens standard. And in the next catalog, 1934-1935, it has a push button release. Uh, this Art Deco model. It's got this nice enamel and metal inlays. This was available in a 616 or a 620. It takes uh, eight six by nine centimeter images per roll. I ended up re-spooling some 120. That's about two and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. It has a reflex viewfinder up here. The next model had a kind of a sport finder and it rotates from portrait orientation to landscape. Little mirror, and it's kind of a plus shape so you can see the orientation uh, of the shot that you're going to take. Um, it has tripod socket plugs. This is your landscape tripod socket and your portrait, so that's a nice touch. It's really rare for a camera this old to still have them too. Um, it was available with three lenses. There was a meniscus, they called it an achromatic, I think. I don't know what the aperture was on that. It was fixed focus. This one has the doublet. Um, it's also fixed focus from about 10 feet to infinity. This one uh, goes from f11 to f32, Although it uses the uh, U.S., not United States, universal standard uh, labeling for the apertures. This one goes from 8 to 64, which is equivalent for, to f11 to f32. Um, and then there was an anastigmat, I never know how to say that, that was uh, f6.3. That was the high-end lens available on this in the 616. Uh, there were two shutters, a Kodal, which just had instantaneous and time. No idea what the instantaneous time interval was. Uh, this one has the codon, has 1 25th, 1 50th, and 100th of a second, plus time and bulb. I loaded um, some Fuji Acros 100 in here, shot with it, and because it was cosmetically in such good shape, didn't bother to check the bellows. So I got shots like this and like this, kind of interesting, um, but not really pictures. So I didn't want to run another roll through it because this is a borrowed camera. I don't want to monkey with it too much. Uh, it belonged to the grandfather of a friend of mine. So I built this weird kind of cardboard box and uh, black tape thing around the bellows. Ended up adding some more back here. Um, covered up the red window and uh, put together this little holder here and shot Instax Mini through it. It actually worked out pretty well because the Instax Mini's ISO 800. Um, it worked well with the uh, small apertures of this. Still, it took me a few tries, had another light leak. I ended up just shrouding this in a black bag, kind of like, you know, snuggling up a baby or something to where just enough was showing to have the lens clear and be able to get my finger on the shutter. Managed to get a couple of decent shots, but I gotta give this guy back, so I won't be shooting with it again. I do have a 616 that I got. Uh, it has the higher end shutter and lens. It's also a little bit newer. So I'll be shooting with that one, but I'll see you then.